Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of IndieRPGs.com Checks Out. I'm your host, Craig Stern. Today we are going to be checking out Fantasy Commander Eucarian Wars. Oh yes. Um, there is a lot of voice acting in this game. Um, so I'm not going to be reading the dialogue. There are going to be other people who are invisible inside the computer. They're going to be reading it. It's going to be pretty sweet. Ooh, look at that guy. He has some pretty nasty teeth. Also, his eyes are, like, heavily dilated. I wonder if someone's, like, just shining a flashlight in his eyes or something. Maybe he's on crack. I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, let's start a new campaign and give this game a shot. You may recall my previous post about it. This is a game by Age of Games. And, yeah, it follows up on, I think, like, three or four uh, Flash games that they made way back in 2009. Um, this one is a little bit more... The Third War of Eucarian. A little bit more impressive. Sorry, that guy was going to talk for like five minutes. Um, yeah, so this is just a tutorial. It's really boring. I tried it before. Let me let me rephrase. It's, it's a tutorial. Like, it's not a bad tutorial, but we're not going to be showing footage of that because it's not a very interesting thing to show for a video. We are instead going to be checking out this campaign, The Courage of a Knight. The Third War of Eucarian is devouring reigns and centuries-old empires. The Empire of the Ogres, allied with the Trolls of Therm on the west and the Goblins of Gebeldon on the east, after having occupied the great imperial region of Ickelsud, seems to have come to a stop to consolidate its conquest. Okay, we're just going to skip this because basically all we need to know is Ogres, Goblins, and Trolls are doing something sketchy that makes it seem like maybe they're, you know, maybe they're consorting with the Dark Arts, and they've taken over the Empire's lands in some part of the Empire, and now we are going to be uh, sort of poking at them to try to delay their advance and see if we can figure out just what is going on with these guys. The enemy, after having occupied Fable, the capital has divided the forces to garrison the key sites of the Marquisat. The enemy commanders have lined up the army in three big groups. One on the southwestern side, one on the northern side, and one, the main unit, at the center. The division of the forces of chaos is probably due not only to strategic reasons, but also to racial considerations. Ogres, goblins, and trolls can fight together on the battlefield, but hate each other and are ready to kill each other if forced to live together for more than a few days in the same camp. To take advantage of this weakness of chaos, we should attack first the goblins in the south, then the trolls in the north, and finally move to the center where the enemy, although having a big army, won't be able to count on reinforcement troops. Okay, we're going to continue on. That was quite enough voice acting for, uh, for our video. So, basically we have four objectives here. We need to free the Imperial Villages in this first battle. Our hero unit, Marcus, must survive. And we have secondary objectives. If we do these, we get extra experience points and extra money, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's that we get extra military renown and extra money. One way or another, though, we get extra money, and that's good. Let's go ahead and play this first battle. As you can see, there are different types of really cool victories you can get if you complete battles very quickly. Or I guess maybe there might be other requirements later on. So far, all I've seen are just battles that you can complete quickly. And that's a good thing. Because it will get you extra stuff. Extra money, extra renown, etc., etc. So down here you can see your little deployment uh, area. This is where your units are. You click a guy, click a space. Yes, my lead. You can sort of face them like that. Or you can, yeah, we'll, we'll be facing up yes, my lead. toward the enemy. As you can see, we've got some zombies. If you look over on the right side of the screen, you will notice level one zombies, level one skeletons, Level one zombies. Nothing too serious here. Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? One one thing um, that annoys me a little Finally bit. Finally, we meet, Commander. Oh. I am Julius, ambassador of the Empire and Duke of the Four Boroughs of Dom. <laughs> four Boroughs of Dom. The Great Carl has sent me here to follow your undertakings. 
The mission you have been assigned is of utmost importance. Perhaps too important, considering your lack of experience in combat. For the good of the Empire, we hope that you will not disappoint us. So there are like a couple things here that I think could have been done a little better. Uh, one is yeah, that every unit of a given type has exactly one command uh, bark. So like whenever you click one of these characters, they always, always, always say, "What is the target du jour?" Who is the target du jour? Every single time. Who is the target du jour? 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 It gets annoying after a while. That said, the voice acting is actually pretty good, so... Yes, my liege. It's... It's okay. I'm, I'm willing to forgive it. Welcome to the Marquisate of Krieg, Commander. I have been waiting many days for your arrival, and finally, you are here. Now we shall have our revenge, and reclaim all that is ours. I am Marcus, Knight of the Absolute, and Servant of Adamantia. In the Battle of Fable, which we lost, unfortunately... I was seriously hurt by a monstrous red dragon. My people cured me and hid me in this village until today. Now I have recovered my strength, and I am ready to follow you to hell to annihilate the forces of chaos that have devastated the lands of my ancestors. Tell me your wishes, Commander, and I shall carry them out with pleasure. First, Marcus, I would like you to rub my Death back. To the enemy. That is, that is the first thing I would like you to carry out with pleasure, if you, if you get my meaning. Ah, ah. Okay, just kidding. Let's go over here and attack this zombie. Now he's all demoralized. Look at that. He has a little, his little sad face. Oh, so sad. Marcus came and beat us up. It's not fair. We're very we sad now. We to seize the village, but there are no signs of life. From what I can tell, it appears the inhabitants have been taken away against their will. Yeah, a, a weird Who is the target du jour? A weird mishmash of uh Who is the target du jour? Various European accents going on in the voice acting here. Um the one thing that annoys me about the voice acting, it's really very high quality for the most part. I just I just really, really wish that they had instead of just cutting out the music entirely whenever a character is talking, I wish they had just dropped the volume on it to like like, that was something I did in, uh, just not, this isn't a video about my games, obviously, but just to talk yeah, about something I did enemy. back when I did, uh, voice acting in Telepath RPG, <laughs> uh, Servants of God, I, what I did is I just dropped the music to, like, 25, 25%, and I found that was very effective at making it so that you could hear guys, but you didn't have that weird thing where, like, who is the target du jour? where, like, a character would be talking, yes, my liege. And then suddenly the music would come back on full blast, and then he'd start speaking again. They would cut out entirely, and it's it's kind of jarring. So yes, that's all I'm saying. Lead. I'm not here to nitpick, though. This is uh, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this game. Although, wow, that that was a really bad attack. Maybe I shouldn't have done that with my human light infantry. That did not go well at all. Okay. Yes, my lead. New plan. We're gonna move here. And we are going to... Oh, I don't have any spells with this guy. Well, whatever. That will at least keep them from uh, spawning more skeletons from that space, so... That's a good Who thing. Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? Yes, my lead. Death to the enemy. Two turns to achieve the epic victory. Well, Death we're, gonna, to the enemy. we're gonna get it even faster than that. How about that? What do you think of that game? We are indebted to you for saving us. The ogres compelled us to swear allegiance to their emperor in return for sparing our lives. Then they left. Lately, however, many people have disappeared near the cemetery, and we feared those merciless beasts had returned to destroy us. But finally you are here. Long live Adamantia. Long live the great Karl. Ah, uh, not... not bad, Commander. It appears that luck was with you. I will send a message to the Emperor at once, informing him of your progress, and that we have found Marcus. Hey, you're gonna send a massage to the Emperor, huh? I bet I'll like that. I could go for a massage, frankly. Victory! Thank God we saved that fat Australian lady. 
who knows what could have happened if we hadn't come here. All right. So as you can see, we conquered the cemeteries before we completed our primary objectives, and that got us 75. Ex oh, sorry, that got us 75. Uh, Augustali is the currency in this game, so we ended up getting 150 extra money total. Uh, 550 extra experience total, and 10 extra military fame total. I still don't know what military fame does, actually. I assume it's good in some way, but can't really can't really tell you exactly how just yet. Um, those are some pretty small rewards compared to the main objective, but still, every little bit helps. So, a few things you can do here. You may notice that pretty much all of my units have little uh, little chevrons next to them. Those indicate that they can be upgraded. So I'm going to upgrade my human light infantry here. You can see the attack and defense uh, each went up by two, and I have four points that I can sort of distribute at my discretion. So I'm going to put three into defense and one more into attack. And we will give these guys the ability to heal 15 life points, once per battle. And we'll do the same thing with these guys. I do like the ability of units to heal themselves. It makes them more useful all around. We can upgrade our archers. Let's do that. And... Since I'm mainly going to be using these guys at distance, it's more important to raise their attack than their defense, in my opinion. And we're going to give these guys forced march so that they can move further across the map. We have fewer penalties. So as you can see, level 1 forced march gives you plus 2 movement, but minus 25% to attack and defense for the turn afterwards. Uh, Force March 2 reduces those penalties to 10%, which is much, much better. So we're going to be going with that for those guys. Now, we can actually recruit more guys. So let's recruit a, uh, a human infantry here. These are light infantry. This is just regular infantry, so we'll be recruiting this guy. And let's recruit, say, one... Oh, no, we can't recruit anymore. Our platoon is full. Well, that's fine. We can carry on. Just like this. Let's go forward, folks. Yes. The courage of a knight. Goblins' villages. After the quick victory obtained, we need to proceed according to the planned strategy. We will take the goblins by surprise to the south to prevent them from joining forces in the center. The scouts informed us that the enemy has founded three villages in the area. We shall prevent them from entrenching. We shall annihilate them. Thanks, random voice guy. So, we have one secondary objective here, to free the Imperial Village. And our primary objectives are to conquer the Goblin Villages. And of course, Marcus must not die. If we accomplish everything in eight turns, we get an epic victory. And who doesn't want an epic victory? Literally no one, that's who. Alright. Marcus, we're gonna Death stick you to right the enemy. here. Yep. Death to the enemy indeed. I hate those guys. Alright, put you here. Yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. And you right here. Yes, my liege. You two we're going to put over here. Who is the target du jour? We're going to have you pelt the enemy from across the river. Who is the target du jour? And here we go. This will be almost too easy. Goblins are weak and undisciplined. I expect a fast and decisive victory. Commander, what Julius says about the goblins is true. <sighs> but do not underestimate their strength in the forest. And this river could cause us some difficulty during the advance. Moreover, and I am reluctant to admit it. Even among the goblins, there are formidable warriors. Cool. Well, thanks for that, uh, a timely warning. Let's, uh, let's start pelting these guys with arrows, shall we? Who is the target du jour? Yeah. 
So that guy's dead. That was exciting. Death to the enemy. So let's rain some more deaths down on the enemy, shall we? Yes, my liege. Uh, you head up there. Yes, my liege. You go up there. Yes, my liege. And you go over here. Cool beans. <laughs> I think uh, I think Who these guys the will be the uh, will be the target du jour. Do, 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 do. Okay. Next up. Yes, my liege. Let's attack this guy. Yes, my liege. And we'll go over here. Yes, my liege. And this guy will go over here. Death to the enemy. And Marcus will talk about how he wants to kill the enemy. It's very appealing. Yes, my liege. And, uh, yes, my liege. Uh, yeah. That who is the target? Who du is jour? the target? Du jour? I believe that is the end of who my is turn. Who the target? Du jour? And that's it. Literally, everyone is entrenching. Okay. Yes, my liege. My liege. Actually, Death let's uh, the let's use Marcus here. <laughs> Rawr, yes, <my> indeed. <laughs> the battle is turning in our favor, Commander. This village is ours. Yes, my liege. Crikey! That's what you're supposed to say there, right? Who Crikey. The target du jour? I think this guy's the target du jour. Who is the target du jour? <laughs> Roar indeed. Okay. Yes, my liege. So you attack him. You guys, uh, you guys pelt this guy. Who is the target to you? Yes, my liege. You can. Well, maybe I'll just have this guy do a forced march right into the city here. We have taken control of this village. Long live Adamantia! Death to the enemy. Marcus can move over here. Yes, my liege. You can move over here. And that's that turn. And the enemy is doing absolutely nothing. Who Works is for the me. Target du jour? So let's, uh, let's take some. Du jour? Oh my god. Let's take some pot shots at the targets du jour. Uh, oh, I guess he can't Who attack the over there. Du jour? Okay, shut up. There's no more targets du jour. Death to the enemy. <laughs> yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. <laughs> Ooh, that was, a, that was a pretty ferocious attack there, goblin slinger. Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? Yes, my liege. Okay, that didn't go so well. Marcus, we, we might need you to take this guy out. Ooh. Yes, my liege. This is gonna be problematic, I can see. Yes, my liege. Let's keep sending some guys up this way. Who is the target du jour? And the enemy does nothing. We have two more turns to achieve an epic victory. Yes, let's, my liege. let's hope we can make that happen. So this guy's coming up this way. Death to the enemy. <laughs> Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? Hey, we took that guy out. Very exciting. Yes, my liege. Um, yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. Let's go over here and attack this guy. <laughs> wow, that uh, that didn't go so well. Okay. Recover some health. Yes, my liege. You recover some health too. And let's end the turn.
Is that a... Oh, it's my turn again. I didn't even notice. Uh -huh. Death to the enemy. Death to the enemy, indeed. Let's go up here. Yes, you my take this village. May the gods bless you, Commander. Those horrible creatures were treating us like animals and were kidnapping our daughters. The nightmare is finally over. Glory to the Empire. Is that guy supposed to be German? I can't Death even tell. To the enemy. Who is the target du jour? I'll tell you who the target du jour who is. The du jour? These guys. Yes, my liege. All the guys. Oh, did he attack already? Yes, oh well. Yes, my liege. All right, you head up here. See if you can get a little flanking bonus on this guy. Yes, my liege. Ah, there we go. That was a little better. Unfortunately, I can't tell what direction this guy is actually facing, which is kind of a problem. Yes, my liege. I'm gonna see if I can move around the sides, though. Who is the target du jour? Yes, my liege. Eh, maybe an attack couldn't hurt. <laughs> okay, I guess that did hurt. Whatever. Who is the target? We have one more turn. I think we can do it. Yes, my liege. <laughs> Yes, my liege. So there was that. Let's attack this guy. <laughs> Who is the target du jour? Death to the enemy. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, my liege. Is the field march going to get me up there? Yes! Awesome. Luck seems to follow you, Commander. But winning is what matters after all. A stunning victory, Commander. We have defeated the goblins, and now we shall bring the fight to the trolls. Victory! Alright, so we completed our secondary objectives. We got a... Wait, what do you mean heroic victory? I thought that was an epic victory. Bah. Bah, I say. Whatever. I guess heroic's good enough. Let's continue on our, uh, on our little quest here. Ooh, we can upgrade Marcus now. Let's do it. So. He now has an attack of 37 and a defense of 12. And we have 8 points remaining to distribute. Let's raise his attack to something ridiculous. 45, how about that? Confirm. I would like to turn Marcus into a human wrecking ball to the extent that it's possible. Um, so this is a thing that cancels demoralization effects and boosts both attack and morale in adjacent units. This is the thing... Well, we already saw this. this is the recovery boost. This gives a 50% morale boost to, I think, just himself. Which I don't, I don't see us needing right now. Uh, riding Mastery, which boosts his attack, defense, and movement all at once. So it's like Field March, but like way the hell better. So I'm thinking that would be a really good thing to have. And there's Devastating Charge, which super duper increases his attack and movement, but lowers his defense. Um, which is pretty sweet. But I don't know. I'm thinking for most purposes, Riding Master is going to be the more useful. So let's level that up. Let's level up our human infantry, raise their defense to 20, and their attack to 14. Very good. And we will give them recovery too. Good stuff. And on top of all that, we can recruit, recruit new units. Check us out. How about we get some cavalry? And maybe another infantryman. Nice. Good stuff. And on to the next battle! After the victory over the goblins, the best move would be to attack the trolls' camp. But the Emperor has asked us to help Father Gilbert free his ancient monastery in the Forest of the Spirits. During the invasion of the Marquisat, the monastery has been attacked by a unit of ogres that sacked it and slaughtered all the monks. After the sack, 
The ogres move to Fable, and the monastery has become the base of a small garrison of goblins. Despite the fact this area is not strategically important, reconquering the monastery will bear a high symbolic and political meaning. The Empire of Adamantia needs the support of the Church of Veritas in this war. From the information we have, we should face only a weak resistance from the enemy. It will be good to end this mission quickly, so that we can move forward with our strategic plan without losing the advantage of surprise. So, not gonna lie, I really, really don't like this particular battle. After the victory. Oh my god, don't read it again. Um. But what the heck? Let's let's give it a shot. See if I can do better on this one this time than I did the last time. So our primary objectives are conquer the monastery. We cannot let either the cleric or Marcus die. And secondarily, it would be good if we conquered the northern and southern cemeteries. So this is the northern cemetery. This is the southern cemetery. I take it. And. That is the monastery. That is the that is the thing we are ultimately going to need to conquer. So let's go ahead and deploy our troops. Marcus is going right here. Death to the enemy. Death to the enemy, indeed. Human infantry here. Yes, my liege. Um, more human infantry here. Yes, my liege. Put our cavalry right yes, here. Yes, my lord. Light infantry here. Yes, my liege. Yes, my liege. And our archers. Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? And we're ready to go. If I did not know better, Commander, I would say that you are surrounded by an aura of good fortune. Perhaps you will not even have to unsheathe your sword to end this one. I can see no signs of the enemy, no monsters defending the monastery. I sense this is only an outward calm. I know these woods very well, and this is the first time that I have seen withered trees near the monastery. Let us not lower our guard. Commander, I beg you, be watchful. My brothers and I offer our healing powers for the soldiers, if need be. But spare us the horrors of battle. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that is a typo. I'm guessing his name is not actually Frother Delacruz. We are but poor men of peace, who fight darkness with prayers, not with swords. Well, you better start praying, Father Delacruz, because shit's about to get real. So says Death me. To the enemy. Yes, my liege. Let's uh, let's see how far we can get here. Yes, my liege. A little forced march. It is to our advantage to move as quickly as possible down from this starting position, because uh, yes, my liege. Things get nasty pretty quickly here. Yes, my liege. Who is the target du jour? Yes, my lord. Okay, that's it for that turn. Merciful Father in heaven, to Bishop was right. The monastery is in the hands of the undead. Oh God, oh God. Commander, I have confronted the Abyss before. Its power emerges from the astral passages located at ritual sites. 
If we are to win, we must quickly take the cemeteries and the monastery. I believe it is better if I wait in camp for the outcome of this battle. At least there will be someone to inform the Emperor should the situation become, uh, shall we say, dire? <coughs> 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 Okay, good times. Well, yeah, first things first, let's uh, let's take this guy out. Second thing second, let's take the cemetery. This is but a first step to victory. And let's heal, since this guy took a ton of damage there. Who is the target du jour? I think this guy will be the target du jour, actually. Yes, my lord. Uh, you need to get out of the woods. That is not. That is not suiting you there. Yes, my liege. You need to go do a little field marching. Who is the target du jour? Yes, my liege. Uh, you cannot field march. So you just go like this. May the light bless the emperor. Okay, I think Who that's. Target, yes, my liege. I think that's just about everyone. Um, we do have the ability to rotate our characters, usually. Yes, my liege. Although, it's not going to let me rotate him, I think, because he attacked. Yes, my liege. Um, you should rotate to face this way. And... Yes, my liege. Yeah. That should just about do it. Let's end the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it is super annoying that enemies can attack you the turn they spawn. Death to the enemy. I am not a fan of that. <laughs> yes, my liege. Uh, I don't suppose force marshal. Let him get any further. Nope. It's gonna go around this way. That's annoying. Yes, my liege. Who is the target du jour? Yes, my liege. <laughs> oh, that guy's demoralized. Poor little Who fella. Is the target du jour? Yes, my lord. <laughs> Alright, well, good thing I had cavalry there. The uh, let's move this guy over here and heal him. Can we do that, father? Father. Cool, that's that turn. Yes, <sighs> Okay. So let's see. To the enemy. Yes, my liege. We really need to get through here. And the game really doesn't make it easy, which is annoying. Yes, my liege. <laughs> that really sucked. May the light bless the emperor. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to heal him. Who is the target du jour? You head up over here. Can you shoot him? No, you can't, because you're useless. Awesome! Useless guys for the win. Yes, my liege. And by the win, I mean the loss. Because... This is really annoying. Okay. You go over there, you heal yourself. Very good. Who is the target du jour? You I don't even know how you can be useful. You come over here and heal yourself. Yes, my lord. You maybe head over here and hopefully there'll be an opening for you to come down this way or something. I don't even know, folks. Yes, my lead. I don't even know what I can do. I guess maybe I'll just hang out over here. And whoa. Maybe you should rotate to phase this way. There we go. Uh, okay. Well. May the light bless the emperor. Oh, you should probably move out of the way too. Let's move you over there. And maybe you can rotate to face this way. Just so you don't get ganked by this uh skeletons warriors here. Dude, did he just use some, like, some, uh, ranged yes, darkness spell on my priest? That is some crap. 
also crap is the fact that yes, my liege. I apparently <laughs> cannot do yes, any damage to these enemies <laughs> without using Marcus. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Yes, my liege. <sighs> May the light bless the Emperor. Let's use an AoE healing thing here. Death to the enemy. Unfortunately, fortunately, my uh, Who is the target my bowmen are basically useless because they cannot fire into forests. I need to get them at the other side somehow. <laughs> what? What just happened? I literally don't know what just happened. Did the Skeleton King just use it? Oh, are you kidding me? He used another ranged attack spell and killed my cleric, even though I healed him last turn. That is such total crap. Whatever, let's try it one more time. There's like nothing I hate more in games like this than crawling very slowly through. Why? Why can you not use anything? Why can't you use anything, priest? I kind of need you to heal people. You definitely have at least three of these left. Ugh. Should surrender while you can. Yeah, you only have us like massively outnumbered. Who is the target du jour? Who is the target du jour? And most of our units can't even do anything. So it's not like you have a disadvantage that you should worry about right now. Clearly you should surrender, Skeleton King. Clearly you're not gonna win this battle. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Okay, I don't know if you saw what happened there. The Skeleton King walked up and got a critical hit and literally one-shot my lead character. That, that is what just happened there. Okay, guys. Well, uh, so now you've gotten a small taste of Fantasy Commander Eukaryon Wars. Uh, God. You know... I love games like this. I like a lot of things about this. But that one particular battle is making it very hard for me to recommend it right now. It's just very... There's just certain little things in the design that I find very frustrating. And, uh... 
I'm sure I could beat it if I tried a whole bunch more, but what battle was that? That was like... Is this, is this actually the second battle? Is this the third battle? Point is, we're really, really, really not far into the game at all, and we're already being subjected to battles where we can crawl along very slowly, most of our units can't do anything on any given turn, and we can be literally one-shot by the enemies. That is not good design, in my opinion. That said, um, if we look here on the main menu, yes, let's, uh, let's quit. You will notice that there are, in fact, four full campaigns. The Courage of a Knight is the only food? the... No, we, we, don't, we don't need to hear you, narrator, thank you. Courage of a Knight is only the first campaign. Uh, there's also the Defense of Head Mall. Oh, but we can't play it until we've beaten this one. Uh, the Sacrifice of the Dwarves. And War of the Heroes. So it looks like these are uh, looks like these are locked actually. So we are forced to go through the courage of a knight. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Well, let's put it this way, folks. Uh, I think I'm probably done trying to beat that particular battle. But uh, if you have more patience than I, I'm sure there are much better battles uh, awaiting you after that one. Anyway, that's about it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Craig Stern. I'll see you guys next time.